Dear Ghana friends and partners, as we bid farewell to 2023, I wanted to take a moment to reflect on the accomplishment of the European Union here in Ghana. In 2023, we strengthened our long-standing cooperation across various sectors and witnessed substantial advancement in key areas such as infrastructure, agriculture, security, education and healthcare. The EU's commitment to sustainable development in Ghana has led to the creation of numerous green jobs. As I speak today, almost 100,000 young Ghanaians now have improved access to green and climate resilient infrastructure service with over 3,000 youth trained on basic and technical skills and almost 1,000 created self-employment. Additionally, about 50,000 now have access to a full range of financial services and over 100 MSMEs have been incubated and or accelerated. And that's not all. We also launched the EU Ghana Pact for Skills, the largest investment from the European Union in education for the last 10 years that target TVET education, academia and employment service. We also launched the Ghanaian European Centre for Job, Migration and Development to provide advice and other essential services to the ones who wish to migrate to Europe or within West Africa for work or for education. This year only, over 60 Ghanaian students have also benefited from the Erasmus Plus scholarship to study in top universities in the European Union. When it comes to agriculture, the European Union has empowered local farmers by supporting food security and sustainable farming initiatives. For example, we have signed the EU food security response in northern Ghana with 10 million euros to support about 50,000 farmers to increase crops and livestock production, with an additional 15 million euros to support agribusinesses. Still on agriculture, 224 housing units were also inaugurated to provide accommodation for workers in banana farms. In response to the call made by African leaders, including President Akufuado for local manufacturing of vaccines, the European Union has allocated 2 million euros to the Food and Drug Authority to strengthen their regulatory effectiveness. We also provided, on top of that, 5 million euros grant for seed funding in a vaccine manufacturing unit operated by the private sector. And on top of that, we just mobilized an additional 32 million euros to improve access to vital vaccines, medication, research and development and health technology skills. Another key highlight for the year was the visit by the High Representative Vice President of the Commission, Mr. Joseph Borel, to Ghana as a testament of the ever-growing partnership between the European Union and Ghana. This visit was focused on security and Mr. Boyle officially handed over 105 armored vehicles to the benefit of the Ghanaian armed forces to prevent spillover from Sahel when it comes to insecurity and instability. Still on security, the European Union has dramatically reinforced its operation on the field of maritime security and conducted a joint naval exercise, the first of its kind with India in the Gulf of Guinea. As you know, green infrastructure remains a key focus for the European Union. This year alone, we commissioned a greener solid waste collection system in Kumasi. We also provided a training center and a demonstration farm equipped with greenhouse in Segandi, Takoradi. These facilities will help to build skills towards climate change technology and better nutrition in urban area. As you know, culture is at the heart of the European Union dialogue with Ghana and this is why we have supported a number of initiatives including the Pagia Literature Festival, the Black Star Film Festival, the Summer Animation School 3D and the Heritage Caravan as well as the recently launched EU West Africa Fusion Residency and Expo. In conclusion, 2023 has been a momentous year for EU-Ghana relations 
marked by notable achievements and strengthened collaboration across various sectors. As we are sure in 2024, let us remain steadfast in our commitment to work together towards a productive, prosperous and sustainable future. The European Union stands ready to continue supporting Ghana's journey towards inclusive development and looks forward to further strengthening our partnership in the years to come. Afishiapla.